still bottom of the National League with just five points from nine games, but three of those points were earned in their last outing under the guidance of new manager Harry Watling. Referee blows his whistle, clipped in by Simpa. Ornus not fully cleared away, and that was a good chance there for Waller. It was Josh Wright who only partially cleared away, and on the volley, Waller just almost ballooned it over the bar with his right foot, and I wonder if he... When he looks back on that, he might think he had a bit more time to control it and then take the shot, but Randall, he goes back to right. Oh, and he's tackled well there by Jaden Harris. He's got Will Davis in support and he uses Davis. It's just outside the box, he might take a shot and he scores! And a short finish by Will Davis. It all came after some great pressurizing by Jaden Harris to tackle. Josh Wright just inside Sutton's half. Harris then clipped it outright to Will Davis, who then calmly slotted it into that bottom left-hand corner. It's Sutton United 1, Ebbs Fleet nil. Seven minutes played. Well, that's Davis's third goal of the season. Scored here in the two-all draw to York City. Simpru takes it again, it's a good delivery, and oh, and it's right across the face of goal. It was number nine, Will Davis, the goal scorer, who was closest to getting to it. I think he might have been quite surprised that it got as far as him, because it went through a crowd before whistling across the face of goal. Sutton United really putting the pressure on, coming up to 12 minutes at Sutton 1. Ebbs Fleet. Here's Tanner, seeing plenty of the ball, tries an early pass to Bingham, that's a great ball, and Bingham might be in here, he takes the shot, oh, and he's dragged it wide. Well, a chance almost out of nothing there for Esri, a lovely early pass by Craig Tanner, finding Rakesh Bingham after the ball split open the Sutton defence, but Bingham may, may have just let the ball run across his body for too long. Yeah, it's only Simpa who has stood over the ball. So he takes the shot, but that's high over the bar. And well, with that is the half-time whistle. So a good start for Steve Morrison's men there. 1-0 up at Gander Green Lane. The goal was scored in the seventh minute, scored by Will Davis. Say, so he blows his whistle. It's going to be whipped in by Page. It's deep. And it's too far in front of any of his teammates. So that's a goal kick to Sutton United. On to that loose ball first. More up than out from Akoli. Now Simpa looks to play early down the line towards Nadison, who will get there ahead of Dallison. Now is Nadison. Might show you up the shoot. He jinks his sign is well blocked by Dallison. Well, full credit there to the Ev Sweet number 26. He has been twisted inside out by Nadison. And just as Nadison pulled the trigger, Dallison managed to get his foot in there and make the block and put it out for a corner there to block his pass. Now is Waller, plays it down the line to Simper. One or two appeals for offside, but he looked on to me. Good play by Simper to get away from Domi. And then his cross is low. And it's all the way back to number 23, Jalen Harris, with a lovely first time finish into that top left hand corner. Five minutes into the second half, Sutton have doubled their advantage with a lovely finish by Jalen Harris. It's Sutton United 2, Ev Sweet 0. Well, that goal almost came from nothing. It was good play down that left-hand side by Lewis Simpa. He got away from Domi, and then his cross appeared to be lacking a bit behind it, but the ball just kind of trickled its way to Harris on the edge of the box. Under pressure by Vaz, so Chapman does go back to man who's just come on, Lawson. Now it's back with Tanner on his left foot now, plays it. Intelligent through ball to Fongok, and now Polian's in, and he pokes it home. And just like that, Ebsley are back into it. Ball ricocheted very kindly for the number 14, Dominic Polian. And he made no mistake as he just slotted the ball past Steve Arnold in the Sutton United goal. 56 minutes played, Sutton 2, Ebsley 1. Now 
that's played long towards Rakesh Bingham. Cody will get there first, but his head is, uh, head is only as far out as Tanner. He's got a couple of options, Tanner. Looks to cross it in, but Lawson didn't make the run. He's only headed as far out as Domi, who takes a shot from distance. What a finish by Domi. Well, you just can't legislate for moments of brilliance like that. Not an amazing clearance by Sutton United, but we could not have foreseen what a sensational strike that would have been by the number 16 for FC United. Franklin Domi with his left peg fires it into the top left-hand corner of Steve Arnold's goal. Absolutely no chance there for the veteran goalkeeper. And well, midway through this second half, Sutton United have surrendered their 2-0 lead. It is now Sutton United 2, FC United 2. And it looks like a double substitution is going to be made by Steve Morrison. It's now thrown to Chapman and he almost found Polian there with a header. I think it was just a bit uh, too far behind the absolute number 14 for him to really give Arnold any chance of trouble. 76 minutes played of this finely poised contest. It's 2 all between Sutton and Absolute, but Baz is away down the left-hand side, and he crosses it in for Madison, and he makes no mistake this time. And Sutton United have retaken the lead once again. Lovely cross in from the left by Edwinho Baz, a substitute. He found an unmarked Ashley Nadison, who just with an emph emphatically slotted it into the Ebbsfleet goal for his third goal of the season. And just when it was looking like Ebbsfleet were the more likely side to score the next goal, Sutton have found a second win and a third goal. It's Sutton three, Ebbsfleet two. Three of the additional five minutes have been played of stoppage time. Might be a few more seconds added for that instant which saw Arnold get booked. Oh, and Ponian has dispossessed a Coley, and Ponian's got a great chance. What a save by Arnold. He made himself look really big there. Still in play. With FC looking to fashion a chance, and Vaz. Oh, that's a loose touch there by FC, and it's booted away by Ransom. And there it is. Well, what a contest we had. Have had at Gander Green Lane. It's finished. Sutton United 3, Airsfleet 2. A classic National League fixture.